So according to Boxing Monthly, Ike Ibiabuchi, the president, has been released from, but from custody by the United States Immigration Enforcement ICE. He was. It says he was released in the last sixty days. Um, they could not get his exact location, but they know for a fact that he is no longer in their custody. They say they could assume that he has probably been deported because of his criminal record and the fact that he is Nigerian, he is not American. So they they said it's safe to assume that he has been deported, but nothing is really official just yet. All they know is that he has been released. So he is probably a free man uh, as of this. Aika Biabuchi is 42 years old. He was a top contender in the late 90s, 98, 99, even in the early 2000s. No, no, no. Scratch the last part because he was incarcerated in 1999 for beating up some hookers <laughs> in his in his hotel room. Man, Ike, the stories you hear about him from Lou DiBella is that he, he had a screw loose in his head. He... Wanted everybody to call him the president. He would start screaming out of nowhere, busting out a knife and stabbing the table at at one of at, at a dinner that he was with Lou DiBella. Lou DiBella said he pulled out a knife and just stabbed the table and started screaming. Like he, he had a, definitely a screw loose. But he was hoping to get out of prison and continue his career, which looked promising at the time. He ended. David Tua was undefeated streak. He was the first man to defeat him in that 12-round war. I do have a underrated fight video on that fight. Very good fight. Very exciting. 12 rounds of nonstop action. He also knocked out Chris Bird. He racked up 20, 20 victories and with 15 knockouts. So he was undefeated. He had a bright future ahead of him. But like I say, sometimes... What makes you what makes you so great is also what drives you crazy, which I think is also what happened to Edwin Valero and also Chris Benoit too, possibly. So, but now he's released. He was actually he got paroled in two two thousand and fourteen last year. He was he was um he was eligible since twenty two two thousand and two, but he kept seeing the parole board and he didn't get paroled for another twelve years. He got paroled last year, but then immigration got him, so he he has been in custody of immigration since. They don't know where he is right now, but like they said, he's probably he probably got deported to Nigeria. But he has not spoken up. He has he has not made a public statement. But for now, we know that at least he's a free man. He's not in U.S. custody. He's not in the prisons. So definitely good news. And I don't know. Sometimes when people spend a lot of time in prison, that's like a ca time capsule. E like they don't really age in there. Or either they age exponentially or they really don't because that's the time capsule. Kind of like Bernard Hopkins. That's what kind of toughened him up. Like, oh, nothing in the ring could, could, could hurt me because I spent so much time in prison. And prison is one of the most rough environments out there. So this is definitely good news, not just for boxing, but just for his freedom. I'm glad to see he's free. He's done his time. You're talking about 16 years. That's a lot of time to be in jail. So good for him. Um, I hope he makes a public statement soon so we know his, his whereabouts. We know how his health is. We know where he is and if he plans to fight again. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching and check out the article I'll post it in the description. You guys have a great day.